Hey YouTube, welcome back to another 3ds Max video tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up these parts right here. We go ahead and do that and that. All right, um, or at least we're gonna try to get through all this. We'll probably end up with a head hammer as well. All right, so first thing we want to do is convert this to an editable poly. Uh, the reason we do that is so that way the symmetry modifier is no longer there but it still gives you everything that you need. And since both sides are not the same, you know, that's how, kinda how you want it. Okay, uh, next thing we gotta do is uh, Alt X, and then we're gonna cut. We're gonna start the cuts. Uh, uh, I'll show you where. First we'll just start it here, and then we'll come down twice with it. And then we'll do the same thing right here. Okay, now we're gonna zoom in a little bit, and we're gonna come up to the top and going to cut through here as well all right and there okay let's go ahead and select these three and we're going to bevel them like that and then just want a little bit of an extrude and then delete it out okay so that should give you that uh look of there all right and you can go ahead and move around some vertices here if you need to. Uh, just to make it look a little bit better. Like I'm going to move this over a tiny bit. Uh, oops. Right there. Selected a little too much. I just want to select this. And let's move this one in maybe a little bit. Okay. And go ahead and do the same thing here. Alright, so there we go. <coughs> we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. Alright, now we're going to select edges. We're going to loop the uh, back edges here. We're just going to chamfer this over. And this will just go ahead and give you uh, a little bit better of a uh, shape there. Alright, and now uh, let's come to the uh, left viewport here. I should bring you to the back. And uh, oops, I forgot to do the other side too, so something that we actually do on the other side on, so boop. And then, just, you just want small chamber, it's not really all that big of a thing. Right there, it's probably good. All right, now click four on your keyboard and just select all of these. And now we're gonna inset this, like that. Ooh, looks like there's something else in there. All right, and we'll go ahead and bring it up. Actually, it's fine where it is, besides that, that needs to be pulled down. Alright. Okay, now you can go ahead and move these around uh, if you need to or want to. So, let's try to get this uh, looking about where it should. That looks about right. Okay, now just go ahead and extrude in and delete. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of like a bevel now but that's all right so now you should have that area right there and now you can go ahead and put your hammer inside there I uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a line to it so okay so let's go ahead and grab the line and now we're just going to trace over this so we're going here to here to here to here to here to there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just kind of add some more extra things here. Nah, okay, now some craziness inside there, as you might see. Let me pull it back. Got that. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna edit that later. Uh, for now, it's fine how it is. Uh, we're gonna just do the extrude here. So just go ahead and extrude. And this can be extruded. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's go ahead and pull it over to the center, roughly. Let's go to the left view. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull it over. Pull it down. Alright, we're going to add more extrusion. <laughs> Just want it to be even with our uh, hole here. And we're going to put this in the middle, and now we can just scale up. So now we've got that hole filled with that. Um, I 
looks about right. Let's go ahead now, and we can start over here. Start with some more fun stuff. Okay, so uh, right here, it's brought up this image, and you're going to notice this right here. Um, okay, so this is basically what we got to make now. Uh, this is part of the slide. So what we have to do is we have to make this, and then everything else can basically be modeled separately. Alright, so we're going to have some fun with this, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the right view chord. So just click V and then go to right. Alright, and now let's go ahead and select the slide. We're going to select these. Alright, now we're going to look back. Alright. And we're going to move up this right here. We're just going to move it straight up like that. And now we're going to inset. And how far is it inset? Uh, pretty far actually. Actually, we want to select all of these and set. And then we just want to extrude these. So, I'm extrude. Alright, uh, probably needs to come out a little bit farther, but it's fine for now. And then we now do extrude that too. Alright, and let's go to the front. We'll just turn to the side here. Take off the grid. All right. And let's see. It should look about right. And we're just going to try to make it even with the picture now. Front view. And we're going to pull it out. Okay, about there. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to loop these. Oops, loop. Select here. we can select that to loop and then the bottom I guess we can select we just want to loop uh, this here okay all right now we're just gonna chamfer all this in all right and let's see uh, now all we have to do is create the two cylinders that go inside here all right so again, let's come back to our right view port. So I'm just going to shift Z all the way through. Well, or maybe not, because I have too many view ports to go to. All right, so V, and let's go to right. And let's go ahead and create the cylinders now. So Alt X. Um, and actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and create the cylinders really quick. All right, so one cylinder there, and then one cylinder here okay and now we'll go ahead and move the cylinders if I click H it'll probably be a little bit easier all right and we're going to select zero, cylinder zero one all right or not let's go to the top and just move it this way we're almost there okay there we go out. And pull that all the way through. Pull that one out a little bit farther. Let's go ahead and go back into the right viewport. Okay, and let's just check out, make sure. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the X axis to scale it. Pull it back. Let's find where that is. Keep pulling it back. Alright, now we need to make this bigger. Alright. Let's go ahead and move it this way. Just move it up like that. Uh, actually, we'll just make it bigger. <laughs> bigger is not always better, but in this case it is. Just gonna pull this back to wherever we need it. Let's go to the front view. Okay, let's get there. Go ahead and uh, find the X, and then this one. 
gun just extra just a tiny bit all right now let's go to uh the right view again okay we need to make this just a tiny bit bigger there we go all right that's uh that's about it now for as far as the cylinders go so let's go ahead and alt x that and let's pull this in this one's not out very far, it's about, about that far. This one's still not out about that far. Wait. There. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Next tutorial, we'll go ahead and finish up everything else besides UVW mapping. Alright, bye.